Alright, hi everyone, this is another commentary by Strange63, which if you're one of my subscribers, which I highly doubt, you should know that by now, <laughs> and by the introduction of course. This is uh, something different I wanted to try, because as you know, my new title sequence opening thing is called Trolling Time, as I, no actually I didn't mention that in the other video, which I think I should have put in the description, but the description screwed up. Anyway, it's called Trolling Time, which is sort of when I show the trolls how it's really done but I've noticed something lately I when I watch quick scoping or try harding nukes whatever it's always people who obviously don't do it one off so I wanted to start something new where I upload the first two games of the day and the very first one will always be my quick scoping game which is the one you're watching now and the one I'll be uploading maybe in about 30 minutes depending on how long this one takes to render it should take like 20 minutes to render depending on um, What's going on which it might take actually about an hour to render now? You're probably thinking man what a crap computer. It's not but I have some other stuff rendering on cinema 4d I'm actually rendering rendering sorry a full building out of the minute on cinema 4d with the background environment and everything so it's really pushing my computer right now and I'm trying not to have my computer horribly raped, but I can't help it really, you know, it's work and YouTube and everything like that at the same time. I try to try and compact everything that I want to do and the stuff that the college wants me to do into one small thing. But yeah, but this gameplay, it was quite terrible. I, I did win, but I didn't win by getting the kill cam. I actually won by the timer running out. Because this map just, I just don't like this map in general. You run around, you barely find anyone. All the action happens in that middle part, and I don't dare go there. Because of the one fact that I'm dying enough as it is. If I go into that middle part, there's going to be more UMPs and more ACRs and stuff like that. And as you can see, the kid with the FAMAS is camping down there. Or FAMAS as I call it. But, you know, people call it different things. One of my friends calls it the FEMS. Which I don't get where he got that from, but you know... As I said, each to their own, it's your own opinion on what you want to call it. <coughs> so, tell me what you think of this idea, because it's sort of... I've realised I could easily get a flawless gameplay, very easily get a flawless gameplay on Free For All. If I really wanted to just sit out and camp, I could easily get it. But, the first game of the day isn't like that for me. I'm always sort of very active and... I guess hyped up to run around and I'm gonna be like yeah yeah I'm gonna get a quad and then I end up dying which you know you know you never get that quad you really want you always sort of die just before it will happen or you'll never even see it see people were camping in the middle right then and I just don't like getting into that I tried running into the middle a couple of times but I think I get even striker at one point which was depressing <coughs> sorry I've got I have been very ill lately, so I'm trying to not die from, you know, whatever on the mic. I'll leave death till after the commentary, so I'm just going to open up a bottle of drink and hopefully my throat will calm down and I won't sound like dying. This thing is not opening. There we go. And you probably heard that because this thing is awfully sensitive. And... Oh, there's nothing like something fizzy when you're gaming or doing commentary. Especially when gaming. You just have that bottle of drink next to you kind of thing and just pick it up, take a nice, nice big gulp of it and then BAM! You're ready to game again. I think the next commentary I'm going to talk about something a little bit more serious though because it's been something that's been playing on my mind a lot lately and it's the subject of suicide. I know that sounds really depressing but my friend said why because we were talking about it and he says why don't you make a commentary about it I was like you know what that's quite a good idea because of lately I've been doing a a lot of work privately um, to do I'd like to do art based on how I feel or you know what's going on and one of my friends is doing a final major project at the minute well he's finished actually and it's about war and stuff like that and it inspired me to do this piece of work which was, I. it took me a while to draw it up, I had to draw the world map using uh, Photoshop, it took me three, four hours to actually get the thing to the way I wanted it, like, 
not perfect. I wanted it more to look cubic, like more shapes and stuff like that. And when I actually got it done, I put all the words in it with a clipping mask, which anyone that does Photoshop will understand what I mean by that. Uh, you know, what? I'll just post it at the end. I'll just post a picture of it at the end. But it it wasn't a fabulous piece of art. It was actually pretty shitty. But it was just it was just inspired by the way I feel about things at the minute. And uh, apparently, I should do a commentary on it because it'd be better to get other people's views on what they think of this. But that's enough of that for this one. There's a good five minutes left, so I think I could get uh, the other topic out, which is Modern Warfare Three. We've noticed that everywhere with an E seems to be in this game, just because of the whole on the internet when you use a three for an E. That's what um, they've been doing. Activision's been doing that with all the trailers, and I think it's stupid because I've always hated it. I absolutely hate it when someone puts a letter for a number in. Sorry, the other way around. A number for a letter in a word. It just bugs me. Or the or or a number for a. Or a letter for a number, you know, if you want to be different, that's up to you. But I don't think anyone's ever done that from what I've seen. And I think that would, wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. But, you know, each of their own. But what do people think of Modern Warfare 3? Because from what I've seen of it, the art style looks insane. I like it. It's like a mix between Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. As in the guns are very Black Ops looking, but have the, obviously they're probably going to have the Infinity Ward engines, which is going to be brilliant, because I love the way the things move from the Infinity Ward games, like the way they drag, they don't, they're not like stiff, it's not like holding a plank of wood like they are with Triarch. If you do like a 360 with a Springfield, it looks kind of cool, but it's just unbelievably stupidly look, uh, blah blah unbelievably stupid looking because of the way you spin is like you're holding something that's ridiculously stiff and not heavy it's just like when you if you did a real 360 with an intervention you wouldn't be going anywhere you'd spin like a centimeter and then just fucking flop because the intervention i can't remember how heavy it is exactly but it's a pretty beefy gun it's it's massive it's a long range uh basically i think it's the equivalent of a barret in a sense but I can't exactly remember. I think it's got a really powerful round in it. Well, it does have a really powerful round in it. But you would not be able to run around with it and fire it like you do in this game. You wouldn't be able to even run around with it like you do in this game. So, you know, just getting that out there. That no matter what, this gun is fucking huge. And so I think the Infinity Ward engine with the whole, you know, the way it drags along has hit the nail on the head of sort of the only way to compensate for the weight of the gun when Triarch haven't at all they didn't put any thought into it which is why in my opinion the Triarch games have failed in many different ways I've never liked Triarch games anywhere near as much as, as Infinity Ward games and for people that are wondering what the whole Activision thing on the trailer is and the reason they didn't have any of the game publishers on it is because obviously Activision have always owned the rights to Call of Duty Activision have since the beginning but people like we don't know if, i don't know i haven't looked into it on who is actually designing the game I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be either infinity ward or um oh what's the name oh i can't remember the other person that was with them that that that, that was speculating would be doing modern warfare 3 i'm pretty sure it's going to be infinity ward though because they got the rights to cod back quite a while ago considering black ops was a flop which it was. People that say Black Ops is better than Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that, then you've obviously got your priorities mixed up. Because Modern Warfare 2 is a much better game than Black Ops. The only reason I play Black Ops is because I've accumulated 50 days on this game. 50 or more days on this game. And so it kind of gets to the point of boredom, which is just over the top. <laughs> well, we're coming to the end of this now. But I would like your opinions on Modern Warfare 3 and whether you're going to buy it and what you actually, if you think it's going to be good at all. Because I'm sketchy at the minute with the last two games, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was an alright game, but until Black Ops came out it was quite despised. It only became a good game after you saw how shit Black Ops was. And everyone thought Black Ops was going to be an amazing game and everything like that, and it was a complete flop. I, I don't know, I kind of feel like they're going for more of the look 
of Modern Warfare 3, that it looks good, as in like art style and everything like that. But I don't think it's going to be a good game. I just for once I haven't got my hopes up, and I'm not thinking to myself, this is going to be amazing. This is going to change my fucking life, kind of thing. You know, it's just I can't really describe actually how annoyed I was at Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 after COD 4. To be honest, I, you know. You wouldn't expect a game just to drop like that. But leave your opinions. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, all the good stuff, you know. Cheers.